The NBA season is a long, bumpy ride for every player and team no matter how successful your year is going, and while so much can be accomplished and proven throughout that span, the real test always comes in the playoffs. This is where legacies are made, doubters are proven wrong, and questions officially get answered, and for certain players, their reputation can either take a big hit, or it can be boosted tremendously, depending on how they perform on the big stage. This this brings us to the topic of today's video, where we'll be discussing six star NBA players who are entering this postseason with a lot of pressure on them to perform, because expectations are very high and there are no excuses for them not to come through. These are players who have come up short in the past, need to redeem themselves, and are absolutely talented enough and capable of doing so, and if they don't, the public will absolutely be ready to scrutinize them, as they always do. Before we start though, it turns out about 62% of you watching right now aren't even subscribed to the channel, so please, if you enjoy the content, consider hitting the subscribe button, as not only does it help out a ton, but I would also very much appreciate it. Now with that being said, let's begin. The first player under the most pressure this postseason is probably one of the most obvious selections on this list, being Paul George of the Los Angeles Clippers. It goes without saying that Paul George has been the butt of jokes for a good year now, because the combination of the amount of cockiness that came from his end, combined with him being on the Lakers' biggest rivals, and then them blowing a 3-1 lead in the second round last season, his reputation desperately needs a pick-me-up this go-round. He individually individually played well below his standard last year as we've come to expect from him. He definitely fell apart during their 3-1 blown lead, and a deep playoff run could put all of that to rest. On the year as a whole this season, he bounced back very well, averaging about 23 points while shooting highly efficiently making 47% of his shots and 41% of his threes, and that kind of production needs to be maintained in the playoffs. If he wants to shake the way off P nickname and get back to being play Playoff P, he has a perfect opportunity to do it now. The Clippers are arguably better suited for the playoffs this season with the additions of guys like Rajon Rondo, Serge Ibaka, amongst others, who will help a ton. But ultimately, how deep they advance will come down to how far Paul George and running mate Kawhi Leonard can take them. The next player that's definitely under a ton of pressure in the playoffs this year is Giannis Anadokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks. This summer, Giannis could have been entering free agency, but he agreed to sign an extension with Milwaukee, officially locking him into the team that drafted him for the considerable future. The Bucks, in return, went out and tried to do everything they could to build a contender around him this offseason by acquiring Drew Holiday to add to their core, and now with him, Chris Middleton, and Giannis locked up on long-term contracts, this is the core they'll be working with. Giannis is a supremely talented, multiple-time MVP winner, and with that much individual success, obviously comes a lot of pressure to win in the playoffs. Last year, the Bucks got embarrassed by the Miami Heat in the second round, where he himself played well below his standard, and as an MVP winner, that's obviously going to come with backlash. Giannis's path to a championship will not be easy this postseason, again once again matching up with the Miami Heat in the first round this time, with the journey only getting more difficult after that, but in order to silence the doubters, he will need to be playing his absolute best. The next player under a ton of pressure this postseason is Ben Simmons of the Philadelphia 76ers. Last year, Simmons was injured for the playoffs and the Sixers proceeded to get swept in the first round, but now he's back fully healthy, his team is the number one seed, and they have a very real goal of making a deep playoff push. Simmons has been one of the most polarizing all-star players in the league for a few years now, and so many people continue to push the narrative that he holds the team back and all this in that. And while those narratives are pretty lazy, they won't go anywhere if he doesn't come out and play aggressive in the playoffs. The Sixers don't necessarily need him to score 20 points every night, but they do need him to apply non-stop pressure on the rim, continue to make the smart reads and set up the shooters out on the perimeter without forcing things and committing bad turnovers, and of course his unbelievable defense that has resulted in him being a finalist for the Defensive Player of the Year award will be needed as well. 
The next player under a lot of pressure this postseason is James Harden of the Brooklyn Nets. Harden's another big time star that, fair or not, has gotten labeled as a playoff underachiever because despite all of the individual accolades and accomplishments he's racked up over the years, he is still without that highly coveted championship ring. Admittedly, winning a ring at the peak of the Warriors dynasty over the last few years was always going to be a tough task, but he's also had moments that he could have taken advantage of that he squandered. This year with Brooklyn, they are viewed by a large majority of fans as the favorites to win the Eastern Conference, and probably the championship as well because of how much superstar talent they have along with Harden, with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant too. There are no more excuses, and the team around him is absolutely good enough. Now he just has to to go out and cement his legacy by winning it all. This Nets team was built for championships, and they traded for Harden for that exact purpose, so anything less than that is coming up short. The next player under a good bit of pressure this postseason is Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz. Gobert is the likely winner of the Defensive Player of the Year award this season, and his Utah Jazz are the number one seed in the West. This would be his third Defensive Player of the Year award that he's won, but he, too, has struggled to bring that same level of impact to the postseason in years past. His net rating, which represents how many points his team outscores opponents by when he is on the court, is typically incredibly high and amongst the league's best, but in the playoffs, that number has plummeted for multiple years, and the Jazz have, in several occasions, found more success with him off the floor. The Jazz now have the best record in the league and are as legitimate of title contenders as anyone, and they'll need him to continue his defensive dominance if they want to actually go as far as they're capable of going this year. And finally, the last player under a good bit of pressure this postseason is Chris Paul of the Phoenix Suns. Chris Paul has had an incredibly illustrious career that will easily be first ballot Hall of Fame when his playing days are done, but he too is still missing that elusive championship ring and time is running out for him to get one. His presence has been enormous for the Suns this year as they finally broke their playoff drought by getting the two seed in a tough Western Conference, and yet after all of that hard work, they got rewarded with a matchup against the defending champion Lakers in the first round. Now, now, if the Suns lose in the first round, it's not going to be that much of a knock on Chris Paul by any means, but I included him on this list because, again, he's one of the all-time greats approaching the end of his career, and this might be one of his last chances at getting a ring. And with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below who you think is under the most pressure this postseason. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.